Going to college is a rite of passage for many young people, but for some students, especially those with disabilities, sometimes they can't get the full college experience. That is changing at one suburban college. And you can read the entire story in today's Daily Herald, Madhu Krishnamurthy from the Herald, here now to tell us more about this really awesome program. Good morning to you. Good morning. It's called RISE. Tell us all about it. So this is a program that just recently was developed by Judson University in Elgin. And it's a two-year post-secondary program. It's a certificate program for kids with intellectual disabilities who have aged out of traditional um, special education services in schools and don't really find a fit with the regular community college or university program. So this way they get to be in a college setting. They get to room and board there with other college students, but they get very individualized, specialized instruction in a variety of subject areas. And is it working so far? I know you said it's fairly new. It's fairly new, but the when you look at the kids who are in the program, they are very excited about this. This is their first experience being in a college setting and being kind of treated like adults. And they're being given responsibilities. There's internship opportunities there with this program. So when you talk to the students, they tell you that this, is, this has changed their life. They feel more at home here. They feel more like they're contributing, which is really what they want to be able to do. And as you mentioned, it's a smaller environment. So you've got, for example, as you said, I think 12, you said, per? There's 12 students and this first class. Mm -hmm. um, it's not limited to that, right. but that's the first cohort that's going through. And it, th their setting is such that it's a self-contained classroom where, where teachers are, are, are engaging with them a lot a lot more, interacting with them a lot more than you would see in a typical college classroom. Right, I was just going to say very different than the experience, but it allows them to learn uniquely and beneficial to them. So tell me where you see this going. Do you, I asked you, you know, if you had a child that um, has disabilities and they have aged out, can you apply to this program? You can apply for the program. Uh, it's supported by tuition and also donations to the college. This is a Christian liberal, liberal arts university. So they do take donations and, and, and you know, they have other support through their um, foundations. Um, but essentially it, it is it is for a, a certain age group, 18 to 25 year old kids um, who can who can get out of the high school setting and, and, and their regular uh, public education and then and then maybe spend a few years learning life skills, work skills that will benefit them in the future. I think it's a tremendous program. I, I want you to tell me if you can what you found most interesting when when talking to some of those students and even some of the instructors. Well, in talking to the students, the, the thing you find most interesting is, is how they feel like they're a part of society, yeah. which is really what, what, you, what the program hopes to, to encourage and, and, and provide for them, is this sense of belonging in a community and, and also being participating in, in activities like any other college student would or, or being part of the workforce, which they don't often get the opportunity to. And from the perspective of the employees of the college, they're saying that they're looking at people with disabilities in a whole new light, which is which is really beneficial for the rest of the student population. They they engage with them, they mentor these students, so they they get to see them in, as human beings and and more as as their equals. Right, it's a win-win all around. It really sounds like that. Thank you so very much for bringing us the story. In fact, you can read the full story in today's Daily Herald or online at dailyherald.com.